Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 43 years old lady develops a cerebellum pontile angulation. Which of the following nerve listed below is most likely to be affected first? So here in this question, a 43 years old lady develops a cerebellum pontile angulation which nerve listed below is most likely affected so we have to find out a nerve which is located at the junction of the cerebellum and pons and we know that the cerebellum and pons they are connected by different structure or peduncle so we have the options so options are cranial nerve chain cranial nerve 3 cranial nerve 5 cranial nerve nerve 9 and cranial nerve 12 so let's see some of the picture here we can see this is the pons and here this is the cerebellum and this area this is the cerebellopontine junction and here we can see a nerve is arising and this nerve is the trigeminal nerve and trigeminal nerve it is the cranial nerve number five and you can see the lower foot here the acoustic nerve arising from this area and this is the medulla oblongata here the pyramid and olive here and from the cerebellum to the pons there is the if you can see some of the peduncle this is the superior peduncle here then inferior peduncle here and middle peduncle here and we can see that the peduncle at the level of the peduncle that connects the pons with the cerebellum here the nerve arising and this nerve is the cranial nerve number five which is the trigeminal nerve in the second picture we can see very clearly this is the cerebellum and here this is the pons above part cerebral peduncle and here this is the trigeminal nerve and this trigeminal nerve it arising the junction of the pons and the medulla so our final answer now it is the cranial nerve number five this cranial nerve number five this is the trigeminal nerve this trigeminal nerve is arising from the cerebellopontine angle and any lesion at this angle will compress the cranial nerve number five and affects the cranial nerve number five past thank you all